hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i got to work on this background and how to use different pictures to work on the background so in this video or on this image i actually use this image here and also this image to work on that background uh, so without wasting much time so let's just get to it so at first before you start any um manipulating you need to first of all select the image here the subject here so that's what i'm going to do or let's just create a new layer so i'm just going to create a new layer to it so once you are done creating the new layer duplicate the layer into two places so once i'm done with that i'm just going to pick the selection of this image here the subject here so if you have not selected you need to first of all select the image on this picture I actually selected the image already so i'm just going to load the selection of it so and this is the selection of the image the subject so i'm going to add the mask to it this mask is separate so now we have the subject in a separate way so i'm just going to add the visibility of this lay a mask so i'm going to come back to this layer this is the layer i'm going to use to work on this background so um you can see everywhere it's looking dirty and all that but don't just worry about it first of all i need to add a blood to that background so i'm just going to select then invert it once i'm done with that i'm going to duplicate it so i just have only the background of it so i'm going to add a filter to it so i'll add a gaussian blur just to blow the background for me so i'm going to adjust this to this amount so i'm going to it's okay yeah you can now see the every way it's looking clean now after adding the blood to it so up next if you like if you look at this background it's kind of looking a little bit colored there's some colors which are on it if you check this down part it's kind of yellow so i'm just going to desaturate everything so i'll click on my control u then desaturate everything and it's okay to it so once i'm done with this up next we are going to add the effect on the ground so i'll come back here i'll now pick on the move tool then take this to the image now i'll now click on ctrl t to transform it sorry guys so i'll just adjust this to be bigger so once it's bigger i'll now right click then click on distort so i'll now shift this i'll now bring this down and bring this down to this other part just to make the floor kind of nice so once i'm done with that i just hit my ok then i'll now change this blending mode to soft light so once i'm done with that i'll click on ctrl t once again and click on the warp so i'll now adjust it again just to make it level on the floor so once i'm done i hit my okay i will add um blur to it so i'll now come to my filter blur then add gaussian blur to it so i'll just adjust it to four or five so once i'm done with that i'll hit my okay you can see there's a line here which is actually perfect so i'll now reduce the opacity and i'll reduce the opacity to 40 40 is fine so once i'm done with this i'll now come back to pick these shadows just to add it to make the background kind of nice and the upper part so now it's okay i'll now ctrl t to transform it then adjust it to the way i want it to be applied on so once i'm done i hit my okay so there is no blending mode that will actually 
make this fit in for me perfectly without showing these lines so i will pick a selection to so i will now select this part once i select it i will now add feather to it then i'll make it the ratio 55 then once i'm done with that i'll delete this part of you can see how it's now showing so i'll now come back to the blending mode i'll now look for the blending mode which actually suits on it so the color bond is actually okay it's actually showing what i want so i will now select the down part of it and also add feather to it 55 is okay so i'll add i'll dim it so if you see this effect is not really showing that much so i'll now reduce the opacity kind of then select the down part so that this line won't really show that much I'm also add fader to it. 55 is fine. So I'll now delete. You can now see there is no much line showing that there was a, an image being put on it. So once I'm done with that, I will come to the upper part. Sorry, it's not cough. So once I'm done with all of this, I will now come back down here and i will add gradient map to it so this is how it's going to show but if your shows any other color you can actually change it to white so i'll just return this and come back to my opacity then reduce it and now reduce it to how i want it to look like and this looks is actually fine you see the before and after of it it's kind of much so i'm going to reduce it again so now it's actually good to go so after adjusting all of this i'll come back to this layer that has the mask on it i'll now open it actually return my image back and you can see let me group them and show you the before and after so now i'll group them this is the before and after so this is the before and after of it so thank you guys for watching hope this video was helpful if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorial videos on manipulating in photoshop or creating in photoshop so please if this video was helpful also please make sure to drop a like and a comment so thank you guys for watching hope to see you in the next video bye for now